Our bride and groom today are Elizabeth and John. They have selected the historic Grain Exchange building as the location for their reception. So our bride came in with a really great inspiration picture that matched the bridesmaids dresses and was a perfect bridesmaid bouquet. Now we use that one image as the inspiration for the entire day's events. So I was able to give Elizabeth some guidance by looking at the time of year and an actual swatch of the bridesmaids dress fabric. Um, it was really great to have that piece of fabric and guide her to choose things that matched style of the wedding, venue for the locations, and guide her to pick things that were appropriate for the time of year and the space. Behind their head table, you will see large moss-covered monogram letters. We have an E for Elizabeth and a J for John. I've had the opportunity to work with the cake baker today, and she sent over a beautiful sketch of what her cake would be, and I talked to Elizabeth about my suggestions of how to feature some flowers on that cake to incorporate the theme and the colors of her wedding day. Um, we did not go with a monogram topper, instead there are fresh flowers, and on each additional layer we have a few fresh flowers. Never wanting to take away from the artistry of the baker, we don't want to overpower icing or decorations that the baker has made. We're just going to accessorize the cake with a little bit of color. So Elizabeth's Bridal Bouquet is beautiful for the month of April. We have used hydrangeas and peonies, and forever the classic favorite, a rose for a wedding. Now to put a modern spin on that, she selected vibrant colors. Um, many brides choose to do white with a white dress and keep a very pure bridal look, but Elizabeth has made it a little more fun matching her personality, and we have some really bright, pretty colors in her bouquet featuring beautiful springtime flowers. Another great trend that Elizabeth is featuring at her wedding today is the idea of multiple styles of centerpieces. Uh, many couples are looking at a room full of 20 tables and feel that it's a little monotonous to have the same floral centerpiece over and over again. So we're going to feature candles on some tables, julep cups on other tables, and beautiful revere bowls on the third table.